Yo, what's up guys? So in today's video, I'll be showing you a program called Pose It. I'll be teaching you a little bit about how the program works and how I go about using it for my designs. This is an amazing program if you're a graphic designer who's interested in learning manipulation or drawing and is struggling with getting the right pose for the designs. Also, be sure to join my Discord down in the link below if you're interested in learning from other creative designers. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is, of course, download the programs. I'll be leaving the download links in the description, so go ahead and check that out as you follow along with the video. So the first thing you're going to download is Bluestacks. What you're going to do is go ahead and hit download on there. Go ahead and double click that. And once you do all that, once you got it downloaded and installed, you'll basically be taken to this homepage. After that, what you're going to do next is go down here and hit app player. And what this is doing is it's basically opening up your Bluestacks app player. Once you got that done, what you're going to do now is go to the Play Store. And you're going to want to go ahead and log in with your Play Store. Don't worry, guys. This is basically just it's a safe software. What it is, is it's basically just a phone emulator. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and type in pose it. I'm going to go ahead and download that right there. After that, you can basically now go back to your home page and you can go ahead and open up the application. So now that we got that out the way, I'll go ahead and talk about the app and why it's so useful. So basically pose it is of course, you guessed it, a 3D model app and it can be useful in many different ways. For instance, let's say you want to pose for your manipulation design you're working on. But first, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to move around. So what you want to do is go ahead and hit left click, hold and drag to move up and down left and right. And then you can use your scroll wheel to look up and down. And as for your camera, you want to go ahead and click on this. And you can basically click and hold. And what that'll do is it saves it back where you had it. So we're going to go ahead and just leave that right there. And as for poses, the good thing about this software is it has multiple different poses. So you want to go ahead and click on your, your model and they have presets basically. So you can go ahead and just click through whichever one you want. And that's the good thing about this application and why I wanted to show it to you guys is because some of these applications that you can find online can range from $60 to hundred dollars. But this application is literally just $5 for a one-time purchase. They literally have poses that you can just click and have it automatically set up. So another cool thing about this is I'm going to go ahead and click out of there. Let's say you click on the hand. They already have preset hands saved for you. And that is just so useful because you have so much variety in what you can do. Or you can go ahead and let's say we click here. You want to go ahead and click this little settings tab right here for the hand and you can click on which one you want and it'll basically move those joints that you have for your fingers go ahead and unclick it so another good thing about this application is they also have a bunch of different variety of models you can choose from so you want to go ahead and click on your model go here go here and you can go ahead and click that and it'll change your model Another feature this app has is if you want to add something onto your model, what you want to do is go in here and let's say I want to add a cape to my model. I can go ahead and click on this and it'll basically add it to my model. And if you want to add something else, let's say for instance, this you can add that on, go ahead and change my model real quick. What you can also do is if you want to play around with your lighting, you can go through here and click and hold and you can mess around with your lighting and where you want the shadows to be. And go in here and mess around with your colors a bit. If you want to play around with that, you can. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it on white. And yeah, guys, there's a bunch of different things you can do with this application. You can also go in here and go to your workshop and you can just play around with your model a bit if you want. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave it how I have it. 
So one of the reasons this software is so good is if you pay the five dollars, you what you can do is you can either for free you can export it as an image, and what that'll do is it basically takes a screenshot of your scene, or if you're a Photoshop user or any modeling software that takes OBJ files, what you can do is go ahead and hit export as model, and we'll just save that as model. And once you do that. You want to go to your downloads or save it to wherever you're going to save it is save and then once you do that go ahead and exit from here you can go back to your home page and then you want to what you want to do is you want to go to media manager go to explore go to downloads or wherever you save your file left click and hold and what you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and save that to your desktop so export to windows desktop save and if you want the screenshot that you had go ahead and go to where you saved everything go here and same thing you want to go ahead and hit export to windows Click on your screenshot, export to window, desktop, save. And then once you do that, you wanna go ahead and open up whichever software you wanna put your model in. So for me, for instance, I'm gonna do Photoshop. Now that you're in Photoshop, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and load up your model or your screenshot. But I recommend using your model for Photoshop. And go ahead and drag that in there go ahead and okay or if you want to change these you can and what that's going to do is it's going to take you to the 3d mode in photoshop and you can go ahead if you want to you can right click turn off the surfaces or mess around with the shadows and once you got whatever you want for your liking you can go ahead and just angle your camera where you want it and you can go ahead and hit rasterize 3d layer now that you got that done you basically have your model in photoshop and you can do whatever you want with it you can if you're an artist or you want to draw something you can use this as a reference or you can let's say for instance if you're making like a night manipulation design you can basically put the armor down where you want it and uh um, maybe you know what i'll go ahead and just get some elements real quick and i'll drag them into photoshop to show you what i mean All right, guys, so as you can see, it isn't the perfect example. You can obviously do a lot more with it, but I just wanted to do something simple so you can get like a quick idea of what you can do with it. And yeah, guys, with that being said, I think this will be the end of the video. I just wanted to make a short video and show you guys the program. If y'all want more like in detailed videos, I would recommend looking up maybe some YouTube videos or tutorials on what you can do with it. Um, and yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next video.